It's 24th of August today, three news stories. Birhale Warid administrator has issued a statement about ongoing fighting between Tigray fighters and Afar militia members in Birhale Warida of Zone 2 Afar region. Secondly, a leaked official European diplomats memorandum claims that in coming days, Eritrea could invade Tigray from the north and south. Thirdly, last night, OLA fighters entered Nagale Burana, a key town in southern Oromia, where reportedly fighting is still underway. OLA is not in full control of Nagale Burana so far. Let's have a look at the first news story, an update uh, from Birhale Vareda of Zone 2 of a far region. Five days ago, I informed you about fighting between Tigray fighters and uh, Afar militia members in Birhale Vareda. I think I was the first one who covered uh, this front. For the past five days, fighting has been going on on this front. Because today, a statement was issued from Ibrahim Usman. Ibrahim Usman is Birhale Vareda's administrator. This is the first official statement from uh, Birhale Vareda administrator and from a far side. The statement says that uh, fighting has been going on for the past five days. Uh, in Birhale, Vareda, more than 10,000 uh, locals have been internally displaced. Houses have been uh, looted. Livestock and houses have been looted uh, in Birhale, Vareda. Some casualties are also being reported, but no confirmation. Uh, no numbers uh, have been given by Ibrahim Usman, how many uh, have been killed, how many have been injured. But uh, Ibrahim Usman says that uh, heavy artillery strikes are being carried out by Tigray Defense Force on Birhale. And lastly, Ibrahim Usman uh, denied the involvement of Eritrean forces. He says that no Eritrean forces are deployed on this front. I am still unable to uh, understand uh, TDF's military objectives on this front. When TDF attacked this front, there was no presence of Ethiopian National Defense Forces here. There were mainly locals here and Afar militia members. TDF could have advanced on, on this front along this road towards Eritrea border, but TDF is not advancing. Uh, Birhale Warrior Administrator says that we have retaken some areas from TDF. I don't think that TDF uh, wants to advance on this front. TDF might be here to collect food items, to collect food supplies. That is why they, they, they uh, attacked uh, Birhale Warrior. Because uh, TDF could have advanced on this front. It's a pretty isolated front. If TDF is not advancing here, I think TDF's military objective here is uh, not Eritrea, a far border area. TDF just wants to attack uh, Tigray, a far border areas to collect supplies. We haven't uh, seen any statements so far from a Tigray government, from Gata Choreda, from Colonel Gabre about this front. Not a single statement has been issued so far about this front, but uh, uh, I have been updating you for the past five days that fighting is going on. There is uh, limited fighting, small scale fighting in Birhale Poreta. Second news story is about leaked official documents about Tigray. Reportedly, some European diplomats wrote a memorandum uh, about Tigray to their countries. The memorandum has been leaked. There are several important points mentioned in this letter, uh, which you can say is the official uh, opinion of uh, diplomats 
European diplomats working in Ethiopia about this war, Tigray war, and about OLA's operations in uh, Romia. This leaked document firstly says that uh, Eritrea has deployed large number of its forces to Western Tigray. Artillery and tanks uh, are also being seen in Western Tigray and Eritrean troops armed with artillery and tanks have entered Western Tigray in large number. Why has this deployment been made? The document says that there are two possible reasons behind this new deployment. Firstly, it is being said that uh, in September, Tigray Defense Force is expected to launch an offensive on Eritrea after rainy season. So Eritrea is preparing against this likely offensive uh, from TDF in September. That is why these uh, fresh deployments have been made. Second uh, opinion is that uh, Eritrea is going to launch an offensive on Tigray from northern and western directions. And the objective of this uh, offensive would be to force Tigray Defense Force out of Amhara region. TDF is operating in Amhara in the far regions. And uh, this document says that uh, Eritrea could attack Tigray from north and west to pressurize uh, Tigray to withdraw its forces from Amhara region. Well, uh, in my view, I do not agree with these two opinions. I think these fresh deployments have been made because uh, Ethiopian National Defense Forces and Amhara forces were being relocated from Western Tigray to Amhara region because TDF was advancing deep into Amhara region. It was moving towards Tabrita war. That is why ENDF and Amhara forces they were relocated from Western Tigray towards Amhara. And in order to fill this vacuum, more Eritrean forces entered Western Tigray. Eritrea is not planning to attack Tigray. Neither is Tigray planning to attack Eritrea. That's my opinion. Secondly, the document says that both the sides, Ethiopian government and a Tigray government, they believe that in coming days they'll have decisive military victories. Again, it's not something new for me. Uh, we have been saying that that both the parties are trying to exhaust their military options. They think they, they can uh, take advantage, they can defeat the other side, but it's not happening. And uh, thirdly, uh, the document says that a few days ago, when PM Abiy uh, visited Turkey, he went there to acquire drone technology. It's a very important revelation. The document is saying that PM Abi wants Turkish drones. Lastly, was Oromo Liberation Army entered Nagale Burana a town last night. I shared some pictures with you, but reportedly OLA is not in full control of this town. Fighting is still underway. Romia regional government is confirming that fighting is underway in Nagale Burana. OLA did enter Nagale Burana, several sources are confirming, but OLA is not in full control of this town. Nagale Burana is a key town in southern Romia, that is why Romia regional forces, special forces, uh, they are not withdrawing from this town and heavy fighting is underway. Uh, in uh, uh, the leaked document which I talked about a few minutes ago, there is mention of OLA as well that OLA is making gains in southern and western Oromia. This Nagale Burana offensive is a key offensive because if uh, OLA took control of Nagale Burana, it could be a huge blow to Romia regional government. But it seems that here we could see some real uh, heavy fighting which is underway here.
I think for watching.